Hello and welcome to my channel. Today is a part two in a wiring series or cabling series, whichever you want to call it. And in this case, I'm going to show you how to run uh, the second wire here that goes and basically it runs in three dimensions. So we'll be doing that with a sketch and running it in three dimensions. And that's opposed to the one that I showed in the first uh, video of this, this sort of series um, is this wall outlet here. Uh, this wall outlet is on a single plane, so it's much easier to run. Um, I'm not going to be making markings where it goes through studs and, and everything, because I think uh, we can handle that. I did add a door switch to my drawing, and you can see that's running across and down here, but that's also just in one plane, so I didn't think it was useful to go over that. We already know how to do that. So we're going to be looking at this, and basically the way it works is gonna, we're going to be using three sketches. And each of these three sketches will be orient, oriented along a different plane. This one, and there'll be one here, and then one here. Um, so uh, let's get started. We'll, be, we'll draw the sketches first, and then we'll add sweeps. So to do the first sketch, I'm going to select this plane surface here, and we'll add a sketch so it'll be mapped to that plane surface. And unfortunately, it's down there. I wish it was up closer, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to keep it oriented like uh, to the to you know right to our face here, um, but I do need to understand where that is to begin with. So actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this wall so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go into my construction into these walls. I think it's the south wall. Yep. Okay. So not because I kind of know where that is. I don't really need that for now. So I'm going to create a beast line and I'm going to kind of wire it the way you sort of the way you would in real life. It's kind of going to go through there, come back into the stud a little bit. And I'm going to put more more, um, more knots than I need because it just, uh, it saves you later on if it's a pro if you, if you run into something weird. And I'm going to make this one a little longer so it's straight and end the knot there. So my puppy dog didn't like that sketch, but that's okay. We're going to do it anyway. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I want to slide this in. I've changed my uh, measurements for, to Imperial. Uh, because we're doing a construction that's going to be in the U.S. Or not really, but <laughs> you know what I mean. So what we're going to do this, I'm going to move this in the negative Z direction. Because it's, um, it's in, it's in um, relation to the sketch, not global. So it's sort of a local, and that'll be good enough. Okay, so now I'm going to open up the sketch again. So now that I'm closer to my box, I'm going to make it so that it actually comes out that back wire. Let's get rid of the, uh, where is it? Let's get rid of the comb. All right. And so I'm going to make it so it actually sort of comes out of there. And let's bring this. Yes, yeah, this is where I could have used more knots closer here. And that's, it gives you great, you know, you can make tighter curves and stuff like, like it's a real wire. Okay. That's good enough. So now we'll close that. So now it looks, you know, more or less like it's coming out of the box. Yeah, that's close enough. And uh, so now we'll run our next wire. So our next wire is, gonna, is also going to be a sketch. I got to get back into my sketch workbench there. I'm going to click this vertex here of that sketch. So we're going to create a new sketch and it's going to be attached to this vertex. So we're going to translate the origin. And so you see it's right to that vertex. And let's uh, let's hide this floor so we're all, we only see absolutely what we need. So this is subfloor and joists to get rid of. Okay, and I hide those by hitting the space bar. So that's good for this one. So now let's draw this sketch, and let's just do this one from the top. And you see that's our line there. And we'll take the bezier, and so we know that the center of this sketch is going to be at the end of that line. So I'm going to do a bunch of knots here and bring it to, let's just bring it right to there. So the next one will take it down in. So let's close out that sketch and see, just kind of see if it looks right. looks good to me. And let's do one more. So we'll do the same thing. It's going to be on this vertex. Missed it. I turned off the pre-selection highlighting because it is going to give somebody a stroke. And we'll do the same thing. We're going to translate the sketch to that origin point. But this time, I want it to be um, in the ZX plane. So what I'm going to do is, instead of, I'm not going to draw the sketch yet. I'm going to uh, select it down here. And we're going to change the map mode. 
and we're going to add a second reference and it's going to be to this plane here and that'll give our that'll so that'll orient our sketch to the to this plane even though it's but it's attached to this point and so you can see how that worked out so now the last thing i'll do is uh let me get rid of let me get rid of our ceiling joists now so we can see what we're doing there do, do, do. i think that's in roof ceiling joists okay so now we only have what we need to look at and or mostly what we need to look at. So I'm going to catch this center point here because that's at the very end of our sketch and move and bring it down through here and at the bottom. Okay, so that's our final wire and let's close out that sketch. So the next piece we'll do is we're going to add a sketch to the end of this vert at this vertex here and it, that's going to be our sweeping sketch. So we'll start out by adding it at that vertex, and that's the same as before. And then on this one, we want it to be tangent to that line because it's going to be a sweeping profile. So let's grab that new sketch here, and let's change the map mode, and select the sec second reference. And again, we're going to do the same thing with the line. So now it'll be now it's going to be perpendicular to this sketch. So when we open it, you'll see it's completely per it's perpendicular to that line. And that was, that's a neat thing that uh, I recently started using. So now we're gonna do a keyhole, or a slot, I'm sorry. And the slots, so the slot's gonna resemble our, the casing for the wire. And in this case, I'm just gonna make it giant because I just want it to be easy to see and work with. So we're just gonna make a giant slot, ridiculously oversized slot. All right, and we'll constrain it to this axis. That's good enough. So this is gonna be a ridiculously oversized wire. So what we'll do is um, select that and then we'll move into the part workbench. We will select sweep. And I, I wished it pre-selected. My dog is absolutely nuts about a squirrel in my yard. Okay, I'm back, I chased the squirrel away. So I've selected my profile and now we'll do a sweep path and we'll select this first sketch. Now, you might wanna say, well, I'll just select all three. And unfortunately the sweep will fail at this, at the end of this sketch. Because at, at, um, at the junction, these are not actually joined um, enough, I guess, that the sketch fails. Maybe in the future they'll work. So that's, I've selected my sweep path and let's click okay and we've got our giant cable. <laughs> I just love the way that looks. So, and I'm thinking, oh, duct work. <laughs> so maybe, maybe next we'll do duct work. So now we're gonna do the same thing, but we are gonna do, we're gonna be able to use the same, um, I think we'll be able to use the same profile. Unfortunately, to get this sweep to work easily and not have trouble, um, you can't use the same profile. So I have to add this profile to the end of each sketch. So what I'm gonna do for first is I'm gonna hide Hide that sweep. I'm gonna hide this. I'm gonna hide that. Oh, let's, I mean this one. Let's bring that one back because we're not done that one. So we're gonna do the same procedure. I'm gonna select this vertex, this vertex, and we're gonna add a sketch to that. So I'm gonna go back to my sketcher workbench, do a sketch, let it translate, and then we're gonna change it to exit the sketch, and we're gonna change it to um, oops, wrong one. <clears throat> And we'll change it to add the second reference, which will be the wire itself. And now let's edit the sketch to add. Oof, sometimes the camera just kills me. I'll get us there. All right, so now we'll just add the sketch to do that same profile. And maybe we will give the profile some measurements so that they're the same. So I'll just make that and all right, good, it's already attached, so let's center it. Let's get rid of the conflicting constraints. And we'll, let's make this, uh, let's make, we'll make this a quarter inch. So it's sort of standard cabling size. And we'll make the round part an eighth of an inch. That's close enough for this work. So now we'll do the sweep from the part workbench. 
So we'll select the sketch we just made. Nope. There it is. Yep. Okay. So now I do the sweep path and done and okay. So we've got our second piece of wire there. Let's go back and change this one to make it reasonably sized. So I'll make that a quarter inch as well. And we'll make this a quarter inch or an eighth. So we're doing an eighth radius, so it's a quarter or quarter inch diameter, and that's good to go. So that should have taken care of our other sweep. Yep. Okay. So we got one more to go, and then then we're and then we're done. So you can see how easily this process works out. So what I'm going to do is I'll do this last one, and then I'll pause, do the last one, and come back. Okay. So I've gotten all our sweeps done. And the last thing, one of the last things you can do is you, you can set the colors on these. So if you want, uh, if you want it to be yellow like I did or white or whatever color you need, you can just set the faces on these. So if you want, um, or I think you, you could probably set the whole, or, or we'll cancel that. Or you can just set the, um, uh, the shape color. I'm sorry. I'll get there eventually. So we can just set, set the whole shape color so we don't have to pick each face. So that's how you can set the colors. And then finally, show you. let me show you wh why I actually uh, think this is a useful way to do this. So let's, um, let's hide this sweep. Let's bring the sketch for it back and let's edit this sketch. So now what I can do is say I want to move this box to the other side. All I would have to do is reroute this wire and you'll see that the other sweep has has adjusted for us um, so if I wanted to move say I wanted to move this wire you know out one bay in the, in this in the stud rows here this wire would adjust as well um, and then you'd have to adjust its length so it's not the optimal way to not do it but it is uh, dynamic um, I had tried to uh, change these to draft wires, but it just, it just became problematic. So I found that this was the best way to, to do it. And then one last little thing I want to show you is if you really want to get, if you really want to just go crazy with this, I did this one thing for one of the wires. Let me show you. Uh, so let me hide the ones we just created. So it's easier. So this wire actually has along with all the various sketches and whatnot. It actually has the individual strands in it, and those are run as their own, as their own sweep. I don't know if these are the right order, so don't, don't kill me if they're not actually. I think it's actually black, white, green. I don't remember. But um, So you can have fun with it. And oh, by the way, inside those are their coppers. So if you hide that, you have the coppers. <laughs> So, you know, you can have fun. You can do as much as you want or as little as you want. But I hope uh, I hope you like it. And if you like this channel, sorry, this this video just didn't seem to want to go, go together. So it's a, if it's a bit um, chaotic or not as smooth as some of the other ones, or if it's better, then maybe I could, should keep going this way. But um, I just wanted to get it done. I liked, I liked doing this three-dimensional wire. It's kind of fun, uh, fun to play with. So I hope you like it. Make sure you subscribe and click on the bell so you get notified for updates. And make sure also you have a great day.